everybody, it's Holly and happy fall and thank you for joining me today on my channel, Smile by Holly. So look at this adorable little notebook that we're going to be making today. So fun, it's got pockets on the sides for some cute ephemera or tags or notes and then this cute little holder for a notebook. And I just got these notebooks from the dollar store and let's see, this is a four by six notebook and it just fits in this cute little folio, just perfect. And then it's got a Velcro closure that holds it just nice and tight. Isn't that just fun and cute? This would be just perfect to throw in your purse, to write some notes. Just, I think it's just so cute. So let's just jump right in and get started and I'll show you how to make this cute little four by six folio. So what you're going to need are two pieces of paper that are seven by nine. Okay, seven by nine. Now go ahead and bring your scoreboard in and let's score these. So on the nine inch side, you want to score it at four and a fourth and four and three fourths. Okay, those two score lines. Bring in your second page and do exactly the same. On the nine inch side, you want to score at four and a fourth and four and three fourths. Now this is going to be the base for your cute little notebook. Now you'll need a couple other pieces. This is going to be the belly band and let me show you. This little belly band holds your little notebook in. Do you see right there? And this back piece just flips right down inside. And so this makes it nice so when when or if you run out of paper, you can just buy a new pad and slip it down in there. That's what I love about this is it's refillable. So you'll also need a piece and this is going to be for the belly band. And this belly band is five and an eighth by one and a fourth. And let's go ahead and score it while we've got our scoreboard. You want to score it at a half an inch on both sides. And while we have our scoreboard, you're also going to want to make some pockets. And here are my pockets right here, okay, right here. And so you'll want two of them. Okay, so your pockets are going to measure five and an eighth by three and a half. So cut your pockets and then let's go ahead and score them. And what you want to do is you just want to score them at a half an inch on three sides, okay? And then we're just gonna make a basic pocket. So a half an inch on three of the sides. I'm gonna go ahead and do that on my second pocket and then we can put our scoreboard away. Okay, so done with the scoring. Okay, so for the actual coverings, this piece right here, this piece, this piece, um, the sides and the back, you will need either five or six pieces. Now the reason I say five or six pieces is I only use five. So one, two, three, four, and then the back, five. But if you want, you can cut six pieces and put it underneath your little paper pad, okay? I kind of like the look of just the brown, so I left the sixth piece off. But if you want to have this matted, you'll want six pieces. Does that make sense? So between five and six pieces, and these pieces are all measuring four by six and three fourths, okay? And that's the matting. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how we're going to put this together. I'm going to bring in my bone folder. Now this is our base. Go ahead and fold on those score lines. Fold and burnish. Okay, so what we're going to do is this piece is just going to layer on top of this piece and that is what is going to make our little notebook holder. So I'm just going to bring in some glue and we'll lay it down on the bottom here. Okay. 
And I would be generous with your glue just for the fact that this little notebook, it's kind of a chunkier notebook. So you want to make sure that your holder stays together good. It was, I was surprised it was a little bit heavier than even I anticipated, but it's a good chunky notebook. So what a, what a deal. Okay, so I'm just going to layer this one on top of this one. I'm gonna stand it up, make sure that it all lines up good. And then I'm going to use my bone folder and just kind of push that down. Oops, it's, it's sliding around on me, guys. <laughs> so how, how are you guys? What's new? Tell me in the comments if you've got any fun things going on or you're working on something fun. I love to hear all about what you guys are doing. Okay, so I'm just pressing that down really good. So that is going to make our cute little base, right? So let's go ahead and add our pattern pieces. Once again, you can use either uh, five or six pieces. Now I'm trying to figure out what I want on the front. I think I want that orange on the front. So let's see, maybe we'll layer these little guys, look how cute they are. And then for this, well, let's start with those two. I do like that orange. That orange is very fallish. Okay, once again, these pieces are six and three fourths by four which gives it just a nice little border all the way around. Now, certainly you could make a bigger border. I think this is about perfect for this. Now I'm trying to decide if I want a matting on this one. I think I'm gonna hold off for a minute, but I do want that orange on my front cover. the orange on and then for my inside cover what do I want we could kind of leave it that that's kind of a burlapy brown or I could pull now I think I'll pull the orange out again sometimes the hardest part is deciding like what fun things you want to use <laughs> especially with double-sided paper because they're, they're all so wonderful. I, but I do love how everything coordinates. On the back, I am gonna stick with that kind of burlap uh, piece of paper. I like that. Okay, so we've got it covered. Now, once again, let me bring in my notebook. I am going to put a covering on this notebook and if you wanted, you could certainly add a piece of paper down there and then add your notebook on top. I really just think it's fine going with just the brown. So do I, what do I want on here? So let's go ahead and bring in a covering for your paper. Once again, take a look at this. Um, I have seen these at the Dollar Tree fairly often. So I think it's something that they do stock. I'm gonna pull that bright yellow piece out. I like to have the cream kind of match everything. So just taking off that first sheet. But the covering that you want is exactly the size of the notebook, which is four by six. And I think I am gonna leave it blank underneath and just cover the notebook. But just know there's different options, right? Different options. I'm gonna do an extra layer of glue also. And then look at that cute stripe. Oh, I, I love how everything goes together and coordinates, so cute. Okay, so we've got all of our pieces covered. Now let's do our belly band. Now our belly band, once again, 
was measuring five and an eighth by one and a fourth, and then we scored it at a half an inch. And this is going to go down right here, and this makes it just perfect for the back of this to slide in it, okay? I am going to use hot glue because I want a good strong hold for this. So I'm gonna use hot glue. I want a strong hold so that notebook stays in. Just putting it right in the middle. And I really, really like the idea of this belly band. So you can refill your little notebook if you run out of paper. See how that slides just perfectly down in it. Oh my goodness, so stinking cute. Okay, so now we can just do some fun decorating. So let me show you the paper pad that I'm using. It's called Celebrate Autumn. Uh, it's by Echo Park and it's also by Lori Whitlock. And this has just been a really, really fun uh, collection to craft with. So we're gonna add this one, never met a pumpkin I didn't like. <laughs> Not so cute. Put that on there. Now, a couple things is if it bothers you to have your belly band on, you know, to be seen, do you see how you could easily slip this under your paper? But I don't necessarily mind it, but just know if that bugs you, slip that underneath your paper. Okay, so for your belly band, you want a piece that is three and a half by half an inch. And bring that in, you want to score it at half an inch and at two, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and fold that. And what this is going to do is this is just going to slip around there and we're gonna glue this on to the back and then we're actually going to Velcro this one, okay? So I'm gonna get some glue onto this back piece. Now I don't want it, to, I don't want to cover my little ephemera there, so there we go. Okay, now I'm going to get some Velcro here. I just get my Velcro at the Dollar Tree. And I've been, I've been pretty impressed. I, I don't think it's amazing, but for some of these simple, easy projects, you don't need anything, you know, crazy awesome. Oh yeah, oh, already, that is so dang cute. Okay, let me bring in some stickers. Got some stickers that came with the pack. We're also going to be adding a cute bow. Go figure, right? <laughs> Add our bow. And I might want a little sticker on that. Let's see, what do we have? What do we have here? Maybe even just a leaf would be cute. Oh yeah, that's really cute. Okay, let's open that up and let's make our pockets now. So you had already done your pockets. I'm gonna move this out of the way for a minute. Let me show you how, if you're not familiar with making pockets, it's very, very simple. So there's little tiny squares in the corners here. We're gonna cut those squares out. So cut your squares out. And there's several different ways to make pockets, but this way gives you a little bit more dimension uh, if you're sticking something a little bit thicker down in there. I'm also going to miter. I'm gonna take a little corner, a little triangle off there, and a little triangle off there, okay? Come in and do the same, little triangle there and there. So that's kind of what we're going after. I'm gonna do the same on this pocket. You could put a set of note cards in this pocket. I think that would be cute. Um, I'm just going to be putting some ephemera in there. But we're gonna take a little triangle off there, a little triangle off there. You might wonder why do we do that? And what we're doing is I'm taking out some of the bulk so it's not too thick when we go to make our pocket. 
Okay, then we're just going to add adhesive here and then glue that pocket down. Simple, right? Simple, easy peasy. Okay, I'm going to get some adhesive on all sides of my pocket. Bring in my notebook holder. And this just fits perfectly right down here at the bottom. Now one thing is usually when I do pockets, I don't like to use adhesive. I mean, I don't like to use tape. But because the tape is up here on the outside, it won't interfere with what you're going to be putting down on the inside. But if I were just to be gluing this directly down, you'd probably want to use wet glue. But for this particular pocket, adhesive is fine because the stuff that you put in goes in between the adhesive. Does that make sense? I hope so. So we're just putting these pockets down. Oh, that's just so cute. Okay, I think we will add some fun little stickers now. What do we want? I'm liking that fox. Put the fox there. Maybe, does that fit on there? Yeah, that fits, Autumn. Okay. Maybe a few things on these pockets. Uh, what else do we want? Maybe that acorn kind of blends. Let's see what else could we put. Oh, we'll use it. Okay, oh, so cute. Now you could also put something right here. I'm just going to look through my ephemera and see what I have. That looks really cute. We'll put that there. And then you want to, you know, go find some cute things that you can stick down in the pockets here. Put a little tag in there. Oh yeah, those two look great. I think I'll add this big one too. Let's fill her up, right? Fill her up with some fun, cute things. So there we go, there we go. This closes over and what a darling little folio. Oh my goodness. Opens up, opens up. You've got that cute covering for the paper and then some fun ephemera. We've got a tag. And just a, a couple really, really, really fun things. Close it, close that over, and that closes shut. And there are our darling little four by six notebook holders. What do you think? What a fun fall project. Anyway, I hope that maybe I gave you some value or something fun that you could get started on. Remember this paper pad? It was called Celebrate Autumn by Lori Whitlock, Echo Park Paper Company. This was a fun one to craft with. So, hey, if you got some value out of this video, give me a big thumbs up. I would also love to have you subscribe if you haven't already. So you go have a fun day crafting and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.